Now, what's amazing to me is that the members of the media who are all rooting for a person who does not have a brain for a worm to eat, Joe Biden, they decided it was time to tell jokes about this. Now, again, it is inherently hilarious if a presidential candidate admits that he had worms in his brain. Like, it's sad. And RFK Jr. is a very nice person. I mean, we spent time together. But of course, that you're going to become the butt of jokes. But I don't think that you get to make those jokes if you happen to be a person who is defending Joe Biden's mental fitness when the man's brain is bread pudding. So here they were on MSNBC mocking RFK about all of this. I quote from Robert F. Kennedy Jr. here. The abnormality, quote, was caused by a worm that got into my brain and ate a portion of it and then died. So this Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suggesting that a worm ate some of his brain and then died while there. We'll have more on this developing story. What in the world? This happens. Usually, usually, usually Willie, this happens with livestock, right? I, I, but this is, this is something that, that yeah. Uh, I mean. You know what? There you go. He should have had some I, of that stuff. That may have helped him, right, <laughs> Willie? But it was ivermectin? Of uh, the ivermectin. Oh. So, yeah, jokes about RFK. What in the, okay, you guys are all rooting for a president you're pretending is mentally healthy when the man cannot function. I mean, he happens to be a terrible president even when, if he could function, but he can't function.